Hello. So we are back. Nearly Christmas. And because I was going through the Christmas light uh, just to check uh, if they work and the supply, I found some light bulbs. And this is a good reason to make uh, a video about current control versus voltage control. Yeah. If you remember the, the TVs, the like normal uh, LED TVs, I was fixing them before and uh, usually they go like one LED, that, and I was opening the screen, shorting the LED, and always in the comments was uh, people saying, sorry, you short one LED, you didn't replace it. That means the other LEDs, they will take the pressure and they will get burned quicker okay and that's not true yeah because the uh, the LEDs usually when you are using them on the on a serial mode they are current controlled yes yeah? so they have a fixed current so it doesn't matter if you have one LED or ten LEDs the output of the circuit it will be the same because the current is constant okay but just to make this clear I just uh, uh, we have here few light bulbs in the serial mode, yeah, same like in the TVs on the serial mode, and uh, we have a fixed voltage. Let's make it 19, 19 volts fixed voltage, yeah. So voltage regulated, yeah. Uh, voltage uh, voltage control. That means the voltage it will control the output. Okay, so we have fixed voltage. And if we are shorting a light bulb, what will happen? You can't really see, but the bulbs, it will, uh, it will be brighter. Let's short two. You see, the other bulbs get brighter, which is logical, yeah? But let's pay attention. Yeah, those are three. You can see, shorting three light bulbs, the other four, they are brighter. But pay attention on the power supply, because that it will make you understand how this works. So, uh, if you check the voltage is constant, yeah? All what is changing is the current, yeah? The current is not controlled on this configuration. I said it's voltage control, yeah? So, the voltage, we have a fixed voltage. And if we are changing the voltage or shorting the light bulbs, is the same thing, yeah? Of course, the other LEDs, they will take the pressure, like... Uh, on a normal uh, voltage control circuit. Now, let's switch to a current control circuit, okay? So I will, uh, I will add a current limit. Now we have a current limit, okay? So current limit, what does mean? That means the current is always the same, but the voltage is not fixed anymore. So let's short uh, one, L one uh, light bulb. And you can see the other light bulbs are the same. Let's show two. And you can see the output, yeah, from the other light bulbs is the same. Now, pay attention on the voltage. I mean, the current, you see, is 260 milliamps, 250 milliamps is constant current. But when we are shorting, the voltage gets dropped, okay? It's only the current, it's uh, is stable. Now let's short three. So even if we are shorting three light bulbs, yeah, the the output is the same because the current is the same. Okay. Now let's short more. Let's try and short four. Same thing. But as you check on the screen on the power supply the voltage get dropped yeah but the current is always the same now let's short all of them just leave one yeah so let's try it from here to here and we have only one light bulb and the output is the same you can see we have same current 260 milliamps but the voltage got dropped to 3 volts yeah so that's the way how a uh, uh, current control circuit is working. And I know it's confused, yeah, for a beginner, because I remember myself 
like many 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 years ago when uh, the the tape players come on the market and uh, i i always have str- struggle to understand how the electric motor is working because you know whatever you do uh, on the on a player tape the speed is always constant yeah because the electric motor is ca- current controlled okay that was the point when I learned about uh, Carroll controlled uh, circuits. And the same like on the TVs. I know people said, you know, okay, sorry, that's dodgy. So instead of replacing the LED, you just short one LED. And it's kind of half job. But the truth is, just think, if you replace the LED... Yeah, just say you you replace that dead LED. You have to replace it with exactly the same one. Yeah, because otherwise, if it's uh, the output of the light is lower, it's fine. But if the output of the ha- of the light is higher, yeah, so it's brighter, you will see a white spot on the screen. Yeah, but usually if you short one LED, I mean you just uh, remove it and you short the circuit. The other LEDs, it will be the same, they will have the same brightness. But you will not see on the screen, on actually the screen, you will not see the difference. I mean, you will not see like one LED is missing. If you have two LEDs, yeah, you can see like a dark spot. But one LED is fine. Okay? So that's all for today, just just because uh, I found these light bulbs. It's an interesting uh, thing to understand how the relationship between voltage and current is working, okay? Because I know it's hard. And i seen on the comments, even on the few videos ago, um, people, they, uh, they, they have a struggle to understand, okay, if you don't have current, actually the voltage is getting dropped, yeah? So if you don't have, uh, or if you have, too much current what will happen yeah i mean even on 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 uh, yesterday i got an email uh, sorry uh, sorry please tell me um, the power of the charger what charger should i buy or, or exactly what is the amperage of the charger okay okay let's do a simple experiment let's check the current first on my power supply I short the power supply. It's a limit. It's 260 milliamps. Let's raise the current to 5 amps. Okay? So we have 4.9 amps. Okay? If I release this, the light, the light bulbs, it will get burned. Let's see. No. And the light bulbs is taking exactly the same current, 250 to 260 milliamps. So, you see, always when it's about laptops or phones or tablets, try and use higher possible as current, yeah? Let's say your original charger has 3 amps. What about if I will buy 4 amps charger? It's better because you have there a reserve, yeah? You have a, it's like a buffer, yeah? So, higher amperage charger is better. It will work cooler, yeah? The voltage, indeed, it is important. Yes, I mean important. It's not important if it's 19 or if it's 19.5 or if it's 20. It doesn't matter, okay? It has to be there, like 19, 20 volts. Of course, it will not work with 12 volts charger. Okay? I think uh, that's all for today. Just a short video because, you know, Diane, must, Diane has sent me to check the christmas lights and check everything if we have uh, and everything is working because uh, a few days left till 1 december and we have to install the christmas tree but interesting yeah so keep in mind always doesn't matter how big is your charger try to buy the biggest possible yeah the biggest possible because the circuit just think you don't have light bulbs you have a laptop it will take the power which is supposed to take, like on our case, 250 milliamps. Doesn't matter if I give if I give him 5 amps. You can see 5 amps on the on the, on the screen. 
So I give to this circuit 5 amps, but he will not take 5 amps. Because even I have people like, okay, sorry, how, how can I push the power onto the board? You can't. I mean, how you can push the You can't. But if you have a, a, a very low resistance power rail, like a shorted power rail, then you can push some current. But otherwise you can't because any circuit, it will take the power what it's supposed to take. Okay? So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.